Hi, Jane Swiffin here for PluginEverything.com, and today we'll be creating this cool looping animation. So to start, let's create a new composition. I'm going to make it 800 by 800 at 60 frames per second, because GIFs look better at 60 frames a second. Then let's make a new solid that's just going to be 50 by 50, and we want to make that round. And then let's create a null object. We want both of these layers to be 3D, and then I'm going to move the circle across a bit and parent that to the null object. Then if we rotate the null object on Z, and at two seconds, I want one revolution. So if we preview that, this is what we get. And what we want is to maybe make this a bit more interesting by orienting it on the Y axis. So I'm gonna make this one 120, but now that's not looking as good because it's very thin. So what we can do to fix that is we can go on the red solid, right click, transform, auto orient, and we can orient that towards the camera. But we don't have a camera, so let's make a new camera. And I'm gonna make this camera 80 millimeters. And there we have it. Now the circle orients towards the camera. So we're getting that nice animation. And we want to make two more copies of this. But before we do, I'm just gonna add an expression to there, and I want it to say loop out, continue. And that means that the animation will continue looping forever. So let's duplicate this layer. Duplicate it three times. And with these null objects here, I'm just going to go to their orientation. So this one is zero, this one to 120, and this one to 240. So now we've got three circles orbiting around. And this camera angle is not the best. So let's create another null object, make it 3D parent camera to that go to a point in the animation where we can see the circles are about to collide so let's rotate this on the z-axis minus 30 degrees let's create another null object set that one back to zero orient this to that one and then let's rotate this one minus 30 as well so now the camera angle is more interesting it's not so front on now let's add an adjustment layer and apply a cartoon mode blur to that. And for the motion source, we want one of these nulls that is rotating. And the fill options, I want to enable a ramp fill. I want to make this sort of a blue color and then have a much brighter one. And let's also extend the shutter angle a lot, maybe to around 5,000 so that the trail is longer. I think I'll make more of a contrast, so make this start color darker. And then let's copy that hex value and then just apply fill to these. And I'll just copy that fill and paste it onto those two. Now if we do a preview, we can see we're pretty much there, but it's not really looping. And that's because at the very start, we have no motion trail. So what we want to do is start the animation at two seconds and then end it one frame before four seconds. And now animation is looping nicely. So we can add a background color to this, but we can't do it in this composition because Cartoon Mobler requires an alpha channel. And if we create a solid, maybe make it a dark blue solid, that would re completely remove the alpha channel so we wouldn't get any trails. So we'll just cut that, drag comp one into a new comp and then add the background. And then let's make this darker than the start color. Something like that. Now I think this angle is a little bit boring so I'm just gonna come to these null objects and see if we can get a better looking angle. Yeah, I think something like this, closer to the camera, will give us some more interesting result. There, I think that looks a lot more interesting. And if you're paying attention, you can see we're getting some color banding here. So if we go back into comp one, we can fix that by increasing the number of samples. So lowering that to 0.5 will smooth that out a lot. We've had some interesting feature requests from customers of Cartoon Mobler, so we're pretty excited to be releasing those in the near future. So stay tuned, uh, you can keep up to date with us on our website, plugineverything.com, as well as all social media platforms. And we also have a mailing list if you enjoy spam, but it's from us, so it's good spam.